Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Conquer's Hyrule Tale. In the last episode, we cleared out the ruins of the Parallel Tower. Now we're going to take on the Triforce Shrine. So in we go. Now there's three pathways we can go. The middle, the portal, and past this. So we're going to start with this one. If I'm correct, this one's Courage. So get out your hook shot and head up the stairs. Because we're going to need it now. We're not supposed to actually do this until we complete the test of power, but... If you get out your rocks, feather, and get just to the edge, you can just make that jump. And it'll let you bypass an entire area to get something really good. Not this, though. These tests are full of the best equipment in the game, by the way. Speaking of which, we get an upgrade to our hook shot. This couldn't be happening. I found the gold star! Looks like I won't need the hookshot anymore, as this new weapon is far more superior. I'll still be able to grapple on things like before, but I'll now also be able to play Doom with my enemies. Ooh, cool! Is it the PC version? Because I heard the console sucks. Joking aside, now we have the gold star. It's, honestly, I think it's a bit of a downgrade, because it has that wind-up time. Instead of just instantly shooting. Yeah, I can hit enemies, but what good is that when it's so slow? Alrighty, let's make our way through this strange looking area. It's both red and blue. We're on the blue side. Now, I just got done doing a quick practice run of all this. So we should be good to go. Don't get me wrong, it is strong though. Alright, we gotta hop our way through the Halls of Pain Redux. Kill the bats. Sorry, Fluttershy. Yeah, it's a reference to the song, Stop the Bats. <laughs> or Applejack wants them done. Fluttershy says no, they'll help your trees. Alright, jump on over. Do not pull up any of the other pots. Stupid bee. Push the brick to reveal a secret. Let's hook shot back across. It's a gold star across. Open the chest to get... We have discovered the Golden Rod. I'll be protected from all incoming enemy attacks as long as my magic meter isn't completely depleted. With that, we now get basically the... Cane of Birna of the game. And we're gonna need it immediately in this next room, so... Get her gone. This room is full of nothing but pain. So just rush through it as fast as you can. Got a remix of the Zelda 2 dungeon theme for some reason. Do 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 Alright, enough dancing. Let's go on through. Watch out, we have more pain. Hopefully you have the upgraded magic meter at this point. You're going to be losing your magic meter rather quickly. As you can see, we can use it for a very long time. It took forever for our magic meter just to go down a tiny bit. Anyways, we have a DNA fragment in here. No big deal. But in here, we have something good. We got... A filthy squirrel tail. The second to last shield in the game. I should now be agile enough to dodge beams. Right door is a dead end. Left door leads somewhere. And when I say dead end, I mean it's literally a dead end. Also, now we're Princess Zelda. Why? Because reasons. This puzzle sucks. This puzzle sucks. This puzzle sucks. This puzzle sucks. Yeah, this is the wisdom crap. I don't know why it wasn't activating, but whatever. Let's try it again. Come on. Thank you. All right, we're going to set you down there. Blow you up. Get on the spikes, and there you go. Now for this one, this one's done a bit differently than the one we did in the Jedi Academy. Instead of throwing the TNT over, we're going to set it down, immediately put on the ring, use it, pick it up, and then throw it. Do it any other way, you're going to be banging your head in the wall saying, this puzzle's bullshit. Trust me, I was like that the first time I ever did this. Alright, let's grab the cash and receive probably the best reward in this entire place. Well, second, depending. 
I found a blue lightsaber! I'll now be able to freeze enemies that stand in my path if I charge it. Hopefully it won't gradually turn me to the dark side of the force. It won't. It's just fun dialogue. We got the best weapon in the game. Or do we? Alrighty, let's get the hell out of here. Because that's pretty much it for this little trial. With it completed, we come back to ourselves and get... The Triforce of Courage. It contains the divine essence of Feror, the goddess of courage, who is renowned for creating all life that inhabits the Hyrulean realm. The Triforce was unfortunately rendered useless by the previous holder. I'll have to reach the sacred realm with the complete Triforce if I want to use it. And we also get... One of the three Elven Rings of Wisdom. That's right, GW fan, you certainly guessed that one right. Alrighty, next up we're gonna take on the Test of Power. That's not it, the Test of Power is behind this. Oopsie, that was courage. And that is again, I say we take on the Test of Power. Well, you think this is where the blue lightsaber would have been, but no, it's not. What we get here should have been in the Test of Wisdom. But no, it's not. Because reasons, reasons, reasons. I just quickly make your way through here and light all the torches. Bada bing, we get a chest. And that chest contains... A life belt. Why is this hidden in here anyway? There's a tiny inscription on its side. It reads... Pray for a divine blessing in case of extreme danger. I'll have to try to know what it truly does, I guess. It's a piece of crap. I'm going to say that now. This item sucks. But we sadly need it. So get it on and have it ready. And for the love of God, do not use it. Not until we absolutely have to use it. Trust me, you will regret it. Alrighty, let's head down through the red beach and into the cave. Which really just leads us back into the shrine. You see those enemies? We have no way of reaching it, do we? So, there's only one thing we can do. Use the life belt. Which will send out a whole bunch of good bees, drain our MP, and set our HP to 1. Ain't that great? Oh yeah, I, I didn't mean to skip that. We got Fiery Blaze, which is the Dint Fire spell. May as well sh I, I don't want to waste MP. Yeah, now all our health is gone. All our magic is gone. What a fantastic concept, right? But we have a whole bunch of good bees that are about to disappear. That was worth it, wasn't it? Watch out for the bullet bills. Pathway back if you need it. Otherwise, I would suggest maybe using a fairy or two, or having a f health potion before entering this tree stump. If you notice, that looked like the start of the game, didn't it? Because once you go in that portal, you're in for probably the toughest boss battle in the entire game if you're doing hard mode. I want to continue on, but we could really use the, he the health and the magic. More so the magic, but here we go. The black fire and wild icy gold rages with it. Cold rages within my heart. I said gold. I must release it. Flame, freeze, destruction. Cower, mortals, before the wrath of the of Lord. No, I must fight this. Help me, Lord Ganon. I must resist. Consider that squirrel as a toy. A gift of my gratitude for protecting this sacred sanctuary. New toys? For me? I promise I won't break them this time, bullshit. The world will be reborn in flames and ice. Witness the power bestowed upon me by my evil lord Ganon. Your entrails will make a fine necklace. 
Ha ha ha! This boss cracks me up. All right, let's witness this new world order of yours. Oh, trust me, he'll kick your ass up and down the sanctuary if you're doing hard mode. He is fantastically hard. But if you did what I did, even on hard mode, you should have a bit of an easier time. Now, if you're doing hard mode, his head's broken. He's, he'll shoot that a lot more often on hard mode, and it hurts a lot worse. Once you start shooting it, though, do be careful, because even on my difficulty and with the red mail, it hurts. Alright, let's take her that last head and get killed. Thankfully, we do have fairies to revive us. Yay, don't worry, we'll get a chance to fill that up. Alright, if you need to, get on your golden rod, though we shouldn't need it. Ready to charge! See if you remember how Trinex operates. He'll go into phase two of the fight. Where he becomes a giant leafy looking snake. Ah, that hurts! Don't touch me. I had a fun instance where he left the arena, but on almost didn't come back, but he eventually did. This fight isn't hard, you don't need to charge your sword. That's it. Even on hard mode, that part's really easy. Yay, so what's our reward? I've upgraded my lift ability to level 4. I'll now be able to lift all types of rocks that could block my paths before, though we'll never get to see it. Because we cheesed that section. I get the two fairies to restore your health and then fill up any belt slots you need. Come here. Yeah, I've been kind of light on the belt slots and I probably won't be getting the others. I never said this was going to be a 100% run. Alright, through the creepy sounding forest and the blood on the ground that says help. I don't know what music that's from, but whatever, I don't want to find out. Anyways, and here we get... The Triforce of Power. It contains the essence of Din, the goddess of power, who is the sharper of the re who is the sharper of the realm in which Hyrule exists. It was said that her divine essence would grant its holder an unlimited amount of mystical power and in immortality too. The Triforce was unfortunately rendered useless the sacred realm crap. As we get another ring of wisdom. That's two. Can you guess where the third is? Hey, what's this? Hold on before going any further. Who the fuck are you? A humble spirit that used to go by the name of Obi-Wan. Obi-what? Just call me Ben. Hi, Ben. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go past me. The chest behind me has been hidden for centuries, as it holds the most evil weapon in the universe. What? I could probably make an exception, but only if you can find all 20 rings of power. But don't tell anyone. If you do find them all, use your Triforce medal in front of me and I'll gladly vanish for you. He is warning! That chest contains the most powerful weapon in the game, but getting it will net you, net you the bad ending, so grab it at your own risk. And, but to be fair, it is very powerful. The old man isn't kidding. As we have one more trial to go, and this is the easiest of the bunch. I just... Bur run on through here and use your red boomerang yes you needed it for this to get the key all right we need to use our deku seed so we can kick it over and hit that switch bring up the spikes and let's grapple gold star across all right let's grab this really quick which is what's this I found a green boomerang never thought they even existed in that color it comes with a small notice. May kill enemies instead of stunning them. Handle with care. Yeah, that's cool on paper, but not very practical. Not to me, at least. Alright, we do need to kick this over because we can't just throw it over. 
So I hope you have quick reflexes. Alrighty. If you want it, you can test it on this thing. Yeah, see? It kills now. Well, the fire rod's a better choice. Ouch. Should just use my sword. And smack it. Alright, we need to kick another Deku Seed over there. You can throw it, though it won't make it as, it as far as it needs to go, so kick! Thankfully, you do have some room for this one, so you don't have to be so quick with the reflexes. I'm screwing this one up, and this is the easier of the two. There we go. Alright, let's swing across, and that's the end of this trial. But instead of two chests, we get three, which contain... A Ring of Wisdom, the third. And we also get a new spell. Earthquake. It shakes the ground, affecting all enemies that surround me. And lastly but not least, we get the final Triforce. The Triforce of Wisdom. It holds the essence of Nairu, Nehru, the goddess of wisdom, who is recognized for creating the physical laws of the realm of Hyrule. A Triforce was, uh, yeah, the unfortunately, blah, blah, blah. And that ends the dungeon, but we're not quite done yet. And you'll notice we have every main item in the game. Head south, because you remember that golden harp? Well, with all three Triforce pieces. Not that. On this side. I've unlocked the magic harp. That harp should let me access many hidden places around the different planets. Oh, what does that mean by that? Well, if we use it... We'll be taken to a strange map select. There's one I want to show off. Which one is it? Was it seven? Yeah, this is it. We're a pony! I like it! I like it! But what did we come here for, really? This is just for an optional DNA fragment. <laughs> Yay! Hello there, buddy. What's up? Make him stop! I'll get out if he stops. There's a fucking critter inside my shell. No matter how many times I kick him around, that fucker, that sh fucking little bastard still doesn't get out. Yeah, the curse words. I don't like it either. I want a hug! I'll stab you with my sword, too. And anyways, that's all we're going to show for this episode. So what are we going to do now that we have everything in the game? Except some rings, actually. Well, next time, we're going to get the last bit of the rings and get closer to finishing up this game. Or will we do that next time? Find out next time on Let's Play Conqueror's Hyrule Tale. No, Pony's Hyrule Tale.